everyone we are going to discuss on the topic rehabilitation its meaning aims and objectives first we will give a brief introduction of rehabilitation involvement in moderate or rigorous physical activities has been an integral part of the survival of living beings each and every individual has to perform a wide variety of movements in their day to day life most importantly involvement in a variety of wide range of movements is a part and parcel of a sports person life just as movements are inseparable from our life similarly a very famous saying goes that injuries are the ornaments of a sports person general exercises are part of the athlete's warm up before training sessions and competitions plays an important role in the prevention of injuries sports persons at various levels despite using all kinds of protective gears of the best quality and minimizing all possible risks of injuries still encounter minor or major injuries many a times even the slightest bit of carelessness on the part of the individual can lead to injuries ranging from minor to even fatal ones the immediate step that follows after an injury is first aid and treatment of that injury but the most important function that comes at the end of the whole process is rehabilitation in most cases the rehabilitation of the injured part is ignored which delays the recovery process or may even lead to permanent damage next is the meaning of rehabilitation rehabilitation is a specialized branch of medicine that helps to improve the condition of an injured or disabled person rehabilitation is the combined and coordinated use of medical social education and vocational measures for retaining the individual to the highest possible level of functional ability the dictionary meaning of rehabilitation is to restore an individual to healthy or normal life by training and therapy after imprisonment addiction or illness the world health organization says that rehabilitation of people with disabilities is a process aimed at enabling them to reach and maintain their optimal physical sensory intellectual psychological and social functional levels Rehabilitation provides disabled people with the tools they need to attain independence and self-determination. Lars Peterson and Per Renstrom in their book on sports injuries, their prevention and treatment wrote, "When an injury has healed, The aim is to restore original function to the affected part. Trainers instructions are of the utmost importance in ensuring that the correct muscle groups are trained with the appropriate movements and with a well balanced load. From this we can clearly understand the meaning of rehabilitation as well as its importance. in the field of physical education as well rehabilitation comprises all such processes that assist in the process of recovering an individual or an athlete fully from an injury often with the assistance of thorough professionals rehabilitation is further also referred to as physical medicine it is a branch of medicine that aims to enhance and restore functional ability and quality of life to those with physical impairments or disabilities a physician having completed training in this field is referred to as a physiatrist or 
rehabilitation medicine specialist. Physiatrists specialize in restoring optimal function to people with injuries to the muscles, bones, tissues and nervous system. It can also be said that rehabilitation is a treatment or treatments designed to facilitate the process of recovery from injury, illness or disease to as normal condition as possible. The purpose of rehabilitation is to restore some or all of the patient's physical, sensory and mental capabilities that were lost due to the injury, illness or disease. Rehabilitation includes assisting the patient to compensate for deficits that cannot be reversed medically. It is prescribed that many types of injury, illness or disease including amputations, arthritis, cancer, cardiac disease, neurological problems, orthopedic injuries, spinal cord injuries, stroke, and traumatic brain injuries. Rehabilitation should always be carried out only by qualified therapists. Exercise and other physical interventions must take into account the patient's deficit. An example of a deficit is the loss of a limb. A proper and adequate rehabilitation program can reverse many disabling condition or conditions or can help patients cope with deficits that cannot be reversed by medical care. Rehabilitation addresses the patient's physical, psychological and environmental needs. It is achieved by restoring the patient's physical functions and or modifying the patient's physical and social environment. Rehabilitation is a process used to give a healing touch to the patients who are suffering from physical and mental disorders, addiction, etc. Rehabilitation program helps the patient to get back to his or her normal life and earn a livelihood. Rehabilitation plays an important role in the lives of addicts and persons who have suffered from diseases or accidents. Rehabilitation plays a key role in the lives of people who have suffered from a trauma. This program is given to patients based on their needs. Every person's requirements vary, so the program is subjective. Personal attention is given to each and every patient and his or her development is monitored on a regular basis. Each rehabilitation program is tailored to the individual patient's need and can include one or more types of therapies. The patient's physician usually coordinates the efforts of the rehabilitation team which can include physical, occupational, speech or other therapists, nurses, engineers, physiatrists, that is physical medicine, psychologists, orthotists, orthotists are the people who makes devices such as braces to straighten out curved or poorly shaped bones, prosthetists, a person who makes artificial limbs or prosthesis and vocational counselors. Family members are often actively involved in the patient's rehabilitation program as well. Based on all the above discussions, it is crystal clear that rehabilitation is not just specific to the field of physical education and sports or solely useful for sports persons only, but it is also beneficial for people from all walks of life. According to the needs, the rehabilitation programs are divided into various types and briefly described below. Occupational or vocational rehabilitation. This particular type of rehabilitation is for those victims who do have lost some important skills after they have met 
with a paralytic stroke or any unfortunate major accident. We have to perform these skills every day in our life without which it is impossible to survive. Skills like writing, reading, cooking food, etc. We lose these skills if our brain is injured. Therefore, victims lose interest in communicating with other people. This particular therapist helps you to do regular physical exercises, meditation to make our muscles strong. The patient is given special care by their counsellor and psychologist so as to restore the capacity of the individual to earn a livelihood. Next is physical or medical rehabilitation. This sort of rehabilitation is used for patients who have suffered from bone and muscle injuries. The physiotherapist helps a lot in giving the right exercise regime to strengthen the muscles of back, neck, shoulder, etc. This injury can happen due to accidents, sports, etc. A lot of treatment and technology is available in physical rehabilitation. The recovery time differs from person to person and so does the type of injuries. The patients have to follow religiously the given exercise patterns for restoration of the function. Aquatic Rehabilitation This is a new trend in rehabilitation, yet it is successful in treating problems in joints. The therapists treat the patients by giving various water exercises like swimming, water aerobics, etc. This helps in giving strength, flexibility and mobility to the muscles of legs. Many patients with arthritis, joint pain and paralytic stroke are treated with the help of this rehabilitation. The fourth one is cognitive rehabilitation. This type of rehabilitation is given to patients who have suffered from brain injury to help them to get back to routine activities. They are treated with the help of neuropsychological approach. In this program, the patients are given counseling and mental exercises. This program looks at cognitive, social, moral and emotional aspects of the brain injury that has made the patient dependent. This rehabilitation helps to support a patient to get back to his normal life prior to the injury. The person can go back to his or her studies or job after recovering fully. The next type of rehabilitation is social rehabilitation. This type of rehabilitation is given for restoration of family and social relationships. The next topic to be discussed is the aim of rehabilitation. Rehabilitation program without an aim or a goal is a ship without a captain. And in such a situation, not only the crew is at risk, but the whole ship will be tossed endlessly with no hope of reaching the shores. Hence, it is very important for a rehabilitation program to have a goal. Different experts from varied areas of expertise have presented the aim of rehabilitation differently. Following are the aim given by different experts. According to the Austrian Social Society, the aim of rehabilitation following medical treatment is to establish the patient's health so that they can again take part in everyday life or recommence work. Next, according to the website Stolperstein, the aim of rehabilitation after amputation are individual and can vary very widely depending on the patient's physical and emotional capabilities. According to Lars Peterson and Per Renstorm, 
in the book Sports Injuries, Their Prevention and the Treatment have written that the aim of rehabilitation is to limit the amount of scarring and to preserve strength, elasticity and contractility of the tissue's components. After going through the aims given by different experts, the zest that comes out of all the above is to restore the original function to the affected part when the injury is healed. To reach the goal, certain objectives have been set out. That is the next topic that will be discussed. Objectives of Rehabilitation To reach the final goal, certain steps need to be taken. Objectives are the means through which the expert will reach the final aim that is to restore normal functioning of the injured part or to bring the injured to such a position that he can get back to his normal mainstream of community life. The objectives are described by the website Stallperson on Amputation Rehabilitation holds the view that at the beginning of inpatient rehabilitation, the doctor and the patient should decide together on the objective, the further course of treatment and the planning. For instance, elderly patients wish mostly to retain their independence social integration and to stay in their own homes, while younger amputees find it important to carry on their familiar, private and working lives with as few limitations as possible. An extremely important issue for all those in rehabilitation is the provision of prosthesis and learning how to handle their replacement limb. Before initiating the provision of prosthesis, the rehabilitation potential, that is, the amputee's existing or foreseeable potential, must be decided on. The factors that more or less strongly affect the success of rehabilitation include age, comorbidities, and social factors. However, the objective of rehabilitation can also be a painless residual limb or adequate mobility in a wheelchair if a decision against a prosthesis has been taken. Next, the objective of rehabilitation as given by Lars Peterson and Per Renstorm in the book Sports Injuries, Their Prevention and Treatment, which is more specific to the field of physical education and sports are as follows. First is to regain normal mobility, that is the range of motion of the joints. Secondly, to stretch connective tissue fibers of the tendons and the muscles to an optimal length. Thirdly, to increase the strength and endurance of the muscles. Fourth, to increase the strength of muscles and tendon attachment. And lastly, to improve coordination and proprioception. Now we come to the conclusion of the topic. Rehabilitation thus leads to the restoration of any physiological or psychological functions ranging from minor to major injuries and helps an individual to get back to a normal life and become a socially active as well as productive individual. Thank you.